What is PMI, Private Mortgage Insurance? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty, and I'm here with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage. Today we're talking about private mortgage insurance. So first off, when is private mortgage insurance used? Do all homeowners, do all home buyers get it? Uh, no, really. I mean, the golden rule is unless you put down 20% on a down payment, then you most likely, uh, with most programs, you're going to have subject to PMI, which is okay. private mortgage insurance, which essentially is a risk module created by the banks to help people that don't have 20% down. So less than 20% down, Yes, I'm going to need PMI, most likely. Pretty much, yes. Okay. I just, I, we're just yes. recapping that. Okay. Yes. So, so why is it so important to know about this PMI? Because well, I, I, I'm thinking like I'm going into this, I have an idea what my budget is, you know, pur purchase and interest, what it's going to cost. It's this an expense, is, right? It's an extra expense, it's an, right? It's an expense. It goes along with your principal and interest payment, your taxes, your insurance, if it was a condo, your condo right. fee, uh, but your PMI, you know, and we're talking- Monthly expense. Monthly expense, reoccurring, mm -hmm. uh, and, and anywhere from $70 to three, $400, depending on- Can I pay for it all up front? You can. Okay. You can. That's probably a whole other video, but yes, you can. It's called uh, buyer paid PMI, or you can even get creative and do a lender paid PMI, where we kind of build that into the rate and things like that. And I don't okay. want to complicate the, right. the people but out can there, paid, but so you we, can you can, can pay for it in different that. ways, or you can stretch it out a little bit. Okay. It's just how what's the most cost effective thing. And obviously, you talk to your lender about that, right? Hey, right. I'm only going to have this house for about three years because I'm thinking about moving back to California, so maybe that's a good place to do it, right? right. Short term buyout, uh, longer term is hey, I want to keep this house. I want that lower payment, that lower mon monthly budget. Uh, let's talk about that. So all, all the questions that we ask when we start to provide the loan services for them. Okay, so now I know that this question is a little loaded because quite frankly, I remember after 2008, PMI rates went up drastically. Since then, they've gone down. Yeah. How's it calculated? I mean, you know, I know the cost changes. Sure. So, you, you know, sure. how many basis points that changes, but yep. in general, how's it calculated? Yeah, so it's it's gotten, like you said, a lot more affordable a lot uh, more lately, affordable. a lot more affordable, which is great because obviously it's it, it, it's much more prevalent. We give PMI a lot more. Before, you know, maybe like you said, five, 10 years ago, we would give a first and a second, an 80, 10, 10. Called a piggyback second. Piggyback mortgages, a kind of a way to avoid PMI because it was really expensive. Right. And clients didn't want to pay it, and we didn't blame them. So right. if we could have a solution that got them out of that. But anyways, much more affordable. If you have good credit and a solid down payment, you know, you're going to get the lowest ratios. It could be, and I, don't hold me to these numbers, but broad strokes, it could be anywhere from like 0 0.25, 0 0.27, 0 0.32. So it's calculated off of the better credit you have, of course. the less the premium cost. Correct. And then what about- A little if, bit more of the down payment too, right? If okay, you're putting 10% going... down and I'm putting 3% down, my PMI is going to be higher, right? Because okay. my risk module is higher. Right. You have more invested. So you're the gonna lower get the, the down payment PMI and the lower the credit, the higher the PMI. Correct. Okay. Right. Correct. And it kind of goes like that based right. on that. I don't want to bore you with all the details, but it goes like that all the way up to maybe Sounds 70, a point 80 or something. It, it's very boring. <laughs> it puts you to sleep. So, but at the end of the day, when you're looking at the cost, then it's important for you, right? So, right. And, and we break that down. A good thing I look at is, uh, you know, for personally, but it is tax deductible, correct? It is. And that okay. was a new rule that came in maybe six, seven years ago yeah, as well. So, 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 I mean, you are paying for it, but it is tax deductible. So, you do get a little bit back on it on the mm -hmm. back end. So, um, a future uh, video be on the lookout for is how do you get rid of people? PMI, right? So we have to get PMI when we buy the house. And then is there a way to get rid of it? Which we we're going to talk about sure. next. So and there is, yes. I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty. Uh, Jason Monarigo, RMS Mortgage. Jason, how do they get, reach out to you? Uh, cell phone's the best way. 617-413-5038. Just leave me a voicemail, call me, or um, send a text. And you can reach us at 617-480-2600 or online at boston2.com. And if you're enjoying this content, then be sure to hit the subscribe button for the next videos, including how do you get rid of your PMI. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.